to my channel. So before I get started, oh, before I get started, let me take off the lip gloss from my teeth. So before I get started, I want to say I'm really sorry for the background noise. Um, my mom is vacuuming. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right over here. It's a really simple black and brown smoky eye. I feel like sometimes people are intimidated by black because it is such a hard color to work with. I feel like it's a really versatile look. You can definitely wear this at night, during the day. You could really wear it anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also, there will be a very big giveaway, a summer giveaway coming very 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 soon i want to do it towards the end of this month or the beginning of june so it's like officially summer so stay tuned for that giveaway make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you're notified every time i upload a video so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this video okay guys so i moisturized my face off camera i also did my brows if you want to check out a brow tutorial the link is in the down bar so let's jump right into the eyes i'm using the urban decay primer potion to prime my eyes as usual love this primer potion it is oh, my holy grail and i'm using this brush from bh cosmetics i believe to blend everything out now to set that i'm using this delazi eyeshadow and it's a matte white and I'm getting the BH Cosmetics brush number 11 and just packing this all over, setting the primer potion that I had put. Um, so yeah, it's really important. This step is super, super important for the transition color, which is the next step we are moving on to. I'm getting the 350 palette and getting this orange shade. I wanted to start with a really vibrant orange um, and build up from there. So I'm getting this blending brush and I'm just packing on that orange just on the crease. So my outer V as well as blending that in windshield wiper motions and circular motions onto the crease. Now I'm getting the Morphe M511 brush and this shadow called Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. And I'm using that to just further build up the color that I want on my crease. So as you can see I'm using all warm orangey shades. And that's basically the look that I'm going for. I want it to be very warm toned on my crease area. So then we can move on to the lid area. So I'm going to go ahead and get this flat shader brush from Morphe. It is the M508 brush. And I'm getting this shade Mocha from Makeup Geek. And I'm applying that just on the lid. Packing that color on. And this is basically the build up to the black color. I don't want to go straight to black. I want to make sure it, I can blend it out. So that's why I'm doing this little technique. So now I'm getting the um, M503 brush and it's a blending brush and it's a clean blending brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the harsh lines. Blending is key when it comes to using any dark um, colors like browns and blacks. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the black. So I'm using the same flat shader brush, the M508. I'm getting Corrupt from Makeup Geek. This is the blackest black. It's so pigmented so you have to be very careful. So as you can see I am first starting off by layering it. So I'll pack on a little bit see how I like it and then pack on more until I get the desired look so now to blend it out further I'm getting this color from the 350 palette and going back to that blending brush which is the M503 I'm gonna use this color to blend in the dark black and the orangey shade that we have up in the crease so blending is key guys as you can see I'm using shades to just blend the colors together and then I go back to the original blending brush and that orange color just to apply it back on my crease to make sure that orange shows. Now I'm getting the BH Cosmetics brush in number 10 and getting a beige shadow. I'm using this to define and highlight my brow bone. And now of course for lashes. Guys, I'm skipping winked eyeliner for this look because I think it's just so pretty with just lashes. So I'm popping on these lashes I got from the Makeup Show Orlando so I unfortunately don't know the brand but they're super fluffy and cute I'll try to figure it out for you guys now I'm getting this pen from BH Cosmetics and just applying that in my inner corner just to blend out the lashes so it won't look like I'm wearing fake lashes if that makes sense then going back to that black um, eyeshadow I'm using that to just line the lash line I just want it to be very smoky and want my lashes to blend and there's no like you know harsh lines or anything like that for mascara, I'm using this Wet n Wild mascara, and I've been absolutely loving this. It's definitely a must-have. So to prime my face, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I'm just getting a couple pumps of that and spreading it all over my face. And I like to wait a few minutes after I apply it onto my face for it to get tacky before we get into the foundation. Mm -hmm. 
For today's foundation, I'm using the Born This Way from Too Faced as well and getting the color Light Beige. I'm going to go ahead and put some pumps on the back of my hands and then dot my face. This is how I personally like to do my foundation. I'm using the Morphe Y7 brush and this is my holy grail brush guys. It is so amazing. It just honestly, it, it just gives me full coverage foundation and it makes the product go such a long way. I absolutely love this foundation brush. For concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild concealer in Light Ivory. That is my shade and I'm just going ham with this concealer. I absolutely love it. It's so inexpensive but so full coverage, once again, like, I just, I love it. So now I'm getting a damp beauty blender and buffing that all in or blending that all in together. And of course, we have to bake that face because we don't want any creasing throughout the day. So I'm getting a, another beauty blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that in all of the areas that I highlighted. Um, so under my eyes, I tend to crease, as well as my forehead, I have a lot of creasing there and on my smile lines. So for today, I'm going to be using some very special brushes. Hold up, here's an announcement, shameless promo. So Beauty Bliss Creations, which is my brand, I just came out with a brush set. This is called Pastel Dream Brush Set. It's 10 pieces and it's super freaking cute. They're great for beginners and I love them so much. And I'm having an awesome sale, so if you check out my Instagram, it's at Beauty Bliss Creations you can go ahead and see the sale that's going on. So I'm using the powder brush to just apply um, the airspun powder on my face and swipe off that bakage. I'm getting the bronzer Bahama Mama from the Bomb Cosmetics and the contour brush from the Pastel Dream brush set. And I'm using this to snatch my forehead as well as snatching my cheekbones, snatching them, slaying them. You know, you gotta freaking slay. Go hard or go home, go home, go hard, whatever that saying is. Now I'm getting my favorite blush and using this Real Techniques brush. I'm using Illuminoso from Milani and applying that onto the apples of my cheeks. And then, of course, setting my face before I apply some highlight. I'm going to be using a new highlight that I just received in the mail. It's um, the Artist Couture Highlight, and I'm using the color Illuminati. And I'm getting the Morphe M510 brush to highlight. And this is a really cool highlighter. You guys should definitely check out this brand. And yeah, so I'm applying that onto my um, upper cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow. And then I'm also applying that onto the inner corner of my eyes just to make them pop and add some highlight. Now I'm getting the Morphe M516 brush and I'm contouring my nose with the same bronzer I used to bronze up my skin. And I've gotten it so good at contouring my nose, guys. Oh my goodness, it is ridiculous. I have a glowed up, honestly. Like, I need to do a contouring video for you guys very soon to show you guys in depth how I contour my nose. I really want to do that video. Um, so once that's done, I'm going back and getting Cocoa Bear. I mean, Cocoa Bear. I don't know how I pronounce it that way. I'm getting Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. And I'm getting the BH Cosmetics number 13 brush just to apply that onto my lash line and smoke it out. And then going back to the Wet n Wild mascara and applying some mascara onto my bottom lashes. Now to finish off this look with some lipstick, I'm getting the Meet Matthews from the Balm Cosmetics. This is in the color Charismatic. I absolutely love this nude shade. It is the perfect nude. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto my lips. And then to top it off, I'm using another Beauty Bliss Creation product. I just came out with my own lip glosses. This lip gloss is called Send Nudes. I absolutely love the name. Some of you guys helped me pick it out. And it smells so freaking good. And it's literally the perfect nude lip gloss. It pairs so well on top of any liquid lip. So that's basically what I did to achieve this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And stay tuned for next week's video. Bye, guys.